YouTube and good morning, good evening, sports fans. Today's the day we're looking to get the starter motor on the Rail 19 done. Oh, there's a grasshopper that just landed on the phone. I shall call you Jiminy. Jenny, a little grasshopper on top of my phone. Anyway, we are getting the starter motor done on the 19 today. I've had a replacement received. So I need to get the old one out. I mean, there's an awful lot of information other than what's in my Haynes manual. And very, very little diagrams online. So, number one, I hope that it comes out alright. And number two, I hope that the replacement that I bought fits. It's very hard to determine which one I need, I think. So, it's going to be a difficult one to film this because there's not a lot, an awful lot of room. But I'll try my best to take you along the journey. But bear with me. This could be, that could be a not very entertaining watch this. We'll try, we'll try our best as always to get it going. Give you, give you some information, bring you along the journey of trying to keep this uh, absolute nugget 19 on the road. Right then, underneath the car. And I don't know if you can just about see that red wire and the big bolt. This is where it's bolted onto. Who that is it? The. So I'm gonna try and figure out how to get that off. Somehow. So I think this this dog bone gearbox mount thing needs to come off. I think that would give me a lot more access. I then think there's some sort of breather coming up there. And hey, bro, do you need to take the turbo? Um, oil feed line off, but I can't figure out why. So I think first things first, get this mount off, get the thing that just fell into my eye out of my eye, and then we can see the wood from the trees then. So gearbox mount off, and then we rock on this. Steamer rack, glicky a bit of that. Seals on that going. Yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit leaky down here, but I think it might be power steering fluid. One thing at a time, Michael. Let's go. Right then, sports fans, I have got the brackets off. That's where I'm doing a couple of bolts there. And now I can see start order a little bit better. This is gonna be a really shit video. But so far I can see bolt up top there. Let me see if I can point down. Uh, bolt there where I'm shining my torch. And there's another one just there, top of the rusty thing by the red wire. And then I can see a bolt there. I'll put a circle around it on the video. And just. If I can use focus. There bottom right to that screen and I think there's another on top and I think that's all that's holding it in so I'm gonna try and get those off it's really difficult to film so just bear with me right back up to the top now let's take the actual starter motor bolts out taking one out I don't think this is the original bolt because that's a 22 mil head oh focus so I don't think that's the original one but now I'm on to the next one and my viewing hole is that the, if you can see it, and that is a 16mm, 
I think that's why we went home. And what that? You can see. You see that down there? There it is. That's a 16 mil that my camera doesn't want to focus on. I'm having to use a swivel headed ratchet spanner and just basically look through this little hole, see where the head of the screw is, slot my spanner on it. Uh, and focus and you need out and that is one starter motor as you can see some of the teeth are pretty damaged which probably explains all my starting issues but let's go and check the ring gear and see whether or not that's damaged because that'll be the kicker you can get f***ed. Right, I'm going to try and stick you up here to see the ring gear. Hey, it's a right view, that is. So I'm just going to turn the engine over just to make sure that none of the teeth on the ring gear and the flywheel are too damaged. A couple of marks there, but they, that's all right. <laughs> Something's jingling at the bottom. <laughs> The damaged teeth there. I don't think that would cause too much of an issue. And probably something jingling at the bottom of the gearbox. Or the ballad was in. Some more damaged teeth there. <laughs> I don't know what that noise is. But the ring gear is fine. So there are some slight differences between these two. This is the one that I've taken out of the car. This is the one I'm putting in. As you can see, it's a little bit shorter. And then what we've got on the back of this should be at this bracket that sits there, which kind of bolts it to the block. I've been speaking to a very nice chap on, uh, on Facebook this morning that says I can do away with this. I can just literally have this bolted to the gearbox. This bracket is just so that it holds the gearbox in place. Um, if you want to take the gearbox out without taking a start motor, it holds it in place, but you don't necessarily need it, which is good. So I can just bang this in. This is a Valio unit, and this is a Bosch unit. I, I reckon this is probably the original start motor, the 30 year old original start motor. And it just feels a little bit, uh, it just feels a bit shit. As that one feels a, li a lot more solid, so. Let's try and uh, get it in the car. All right, let's do a little experiment before I start putting this. Uh, start the motor in the, in the car. I want to make sure it works, so just going to try and rig it up to see whether or not this actually does work. That was the old one. I really should do it, isn't it? Yeah. It is sort of like short footed. Yeah. But you expect when it goes in to just actually come up with force, you know? Yeah. I don't think Noko is happy. It's showing hot, is it? Oh, my God. Oh, no. Don't walk this to it, can you? That's it, eh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The uh, good news is they both work. So I can try and bang this one in the car now. A few moments later. Right, great success. Start the motors in. And thanks to Craig, get handed me some bolts. So now 
I've got to do some bolts up. There is one bolt just Boop. under there where my finger is. I'll point to it. There's another bolt. And bit. Very hard. So there's one bolt. There. There's another bolt just to the right of it, and there's another bolt underneath it. So all accessible from the top. The starter motor had to go in from underneath. So I held the starter motor up, and Craig fed me my bolts. So I just got to do them up from the top here now. Right, so starter motor's bolted back in, three bolts on the top are done. The Both of the live connections and the uh, exciter wire are now hooked up. Like I said, I'm not putting in. I haven't put this bad boy in, which is the bracket that holds the back of the star in. It doesn't need it, to be honest. Um, so the, ins the installation of this has been a lot simpler than uh, than the removal. Um, so we're going to start it now. Just waiting for Craig to come back to s from saving his daughter from a wasp. And then we'll try and start it. Fingers crossed, it's a lot better. And the thing is about this, it needed to be done. I c it, it did start, but it was just a rely... I, I never knew when was going to be the final turn of the key. So it was a reliability thing, so we needed it, it needed to be done. So let's see if it starts. Ready whenever you are, sir. So I need to make sure it's in first gear. Yes. <laughs> Let's show up attached. <laughs> One thing that's in cool. Connect the battery? Yeah. yeah. That was a lesson. <laughs> In uh, mechanics, is it, it, the, the car needs electricity. Yeah. Click, things are clicking. I'm not, I'm, I'm not bothered if it like starts, and bothered that it doesn't sound like the star she meant to start price crashing into an actual planet. Wait. You fall out. Okay. Much better. Oh, that is. Every time as well. That is sublime. I mean, the battery's not flat. First class. No doubt, no doubt. Must have been that then. I don't know if my um. Uh, I don't know if my glow plug relay was stuck on there, which why drain it, but it needs some extra help. And I, I've only got one neck. I've only got about him. So the edge is currently swinging yeah. levels, but I'm just pleased that it is engaged and then not sucking in, like a brass band that's been playing for twelve minutes. Should be. So I gotta get all the engine bunch stuff back in now and my exhaust. And then we're good to go and sounds good. And then we can go to Croatia. Oh, that's a good sound. I like it. Hey! On the button now! That's a big relief, that is. One big job done out the way. 
sorted. She is nearly Croatia already. So yeah, sorry it wasn't a very good video, guys. Sorry I couldn't really show you much. But it was a big milestone, so I wanted to make sure that you were brought along nonetheless. Stay tuned anyway for the next uh, episodes. A couple of cool things I want to in install. I want to try if I can install cruise control on this. There's lots of very expensive kits that I have no intention of even considering. But there's probably other ways that I can install a bit of cruise control on this. So stay tuned for that. And then MOT. And it is literally one month. Today? What day is it today? I think it's one month today we're, we're leaving for Croatia. So not an awful lot of time to get this done. But she's, she's starting. She's running. She's driving. She's stopping. Pucker. Pucker. Can't wait. Before I let you go, just please, if, you haven't, if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, please subscribe. We are very close to 1,000 followers, and it would, nice, it would be nice to earn maybe £3.20 a month off these YouTube channels just to pay for our bacon sandwiches. Um, don't forget we got merch. I'm not wrapping it today, but go and get some merch. 10% off still. Box 10, rockboxindustries.co.uk. Please check that merch out. See you on the other side, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Stay tuned.